we'll be doing it together here. So um, let me start by saying this. If you are a man or a woman out there and your man is still a hustler, is that guy who is still trying to make ends meet. They don't have a stable job. They don't have a family background that is rich, that can support them. They don't have, or, or maybe they haven't completed their studies and they are still studying, that's a hustler. One thing that you need to understand is that man doesn't need a woman without a vision. A man with a hustle, a man who is still hustling, needs a woman with a vision. Not a woman who loves to party. Not a woman who loves to compare things. Not a woman who needs everything from a man. But a woman who has a vision. A woman who can see the future and not just today. A woman who can see what that man can become, not the person he is today. You see, I don't want to push women more to the wall, but I want to help women to identify a man with a hustle who has a future that looks bright. You know, we have men out there who are still struggling, who are still hustling. They are in the stage of hustling because they don't have a permanent job, they don't have a permanent home, they don't have a place to call their place, they don't have their rights put together. We cannot say that these people are not supposed to be loved. We cannot say that these men are not supposed to be dated. They are supposed to find love, they are supposed to find women. But there's a secret that I'm going to talk about here that is going to help you to identify why you need to stay or it is time for you to leave that man alone. One thing that I want to say as a disclaimer, a man who hasn't known where he's heading with his life, if you are a man out there, you are like my brother, my advice to you is forget about dating. Because we have women today who 80% don't know who they are. And we are men out here where 85% we don't know who we are. So you see, when you are still hustling as a man and you're finding a woman who doesn't know where she's going and you too, you don't know where you're going with your life, you can imagine that's a tragedy. That is automatically a tragedy because there's no way you people are heading. Don't forget to like this video, guys. Don't forget to, to, to also share it with your friends and families, those who can get it interesting and helpful. So what am I trying to say here? A man who is still hustling, that guy who is still trying to put things together, needs love. But the question is to the women out there, you must identify, you must, you must know, you must know how to know the man in a hustle, but who has a future. We have men in the squad of hustling because everyone is hustling. As long as you haven't had a place to call your home, as long as you haven't had a permanent job that can generate for you income, as long as you don't have something that you can call your own, you are hustling. So as a woman, how would you know that this man who is hustling has a good future? It's going to be challenging, my sweethearts. It's going to be challenging because it's never going to be easy. It's not going to be easy for the women and it's not going to be easy for the men. Number one thing that you need to understand, a man who stays indoors doing nothing that generates income is a man who doesn't have a future. If you have a man who is a hustle, a man who is still hustling, a man who is still in his uh, age of trying to make ends meet, of trying to find a thing to call his own, but stays indoors every time without doing anything that generates income is a no-go zone. You could be happy with him in his home, in his house, a house that their parents gave to him, a house that someone else is paying rent. You might be happy, all right? 
you might be thinking that you know he's giving me all his time and you are having a nice time every day every weekend in his home all right you are there you know having a very great time together you know hugging watching movie eating popcorns going to the cinema and i mean indoors when i say indoors i don't mean only his house you are there going for movies um I think uh, this lady called Cool, this is my last warning for you. I'm going to block you. I will block you, but I will not do that before I warn you. Because uh, I don't think whether your questions are relevant. Last time the question you asked, you said that you were dating someone and now you are trying to date their brothers. Now today you are coming with, is it bad to date ex-cousin? I think this is not good for this class. Some, we are not joking here. I don't take my time to come and joke around here. So if you don't have space here, uh, I better don't, because you can learn from my videos. It's not good to block you, all right? So just learn. I don't want to do it, but don't force me to do it. It is, it, it, you don't have a reason to ask it, okay? It doesn't help us. So give us space to do what we are doing here. Guys, this is what I'm trying to say. If you have a man who is staying indoors, he stays in his home, he stays in the cinemas, he stays in the clubs, he stays at other people's workplaces, but he does nothing. Nothing to earn him a source of income. He's a dangerous man. A man who stays indoors, but is doing something, like for example, you have a man who is um, creating content, all right? A man who is doing some online jobs, a man who is doing some virtual assistant jobs, that's a man who shows, he's trying, he's hustling. He doesn't, um, he hasn't reached the point where he wants to reach, but he is trying, he is showing the gift that he has, he's showing the strength that he has, and he's showing the act of, he has a future. He's hustling and putting something on his space, not just wasting time. I know so many of you women who want uh, a man who will be sitting with you every time, a man who will be calling you sweetie, honey, a man who will be asking for water, a man who will be asking for kisses and hugs. That's a very dangerous man. If he's asking for those things in that, in that house, on that space, but he's doing nothing to create an income. Sometimes we have men who stay indoors writing articles. They write articles through on their laptops and you could see they're not selling, right? Even though they're writing these articles and they're trying to find market to sell their articles, but still they can't find. That is a man who has a good future. That's a man who needs a woman with a vision, not a woman who likes party, not a woman who wants Brazilian air, not a woman who wants some cash for salon, and not a woman who's gonna ask for fair because you will get tired and you will leave a man whose future is bright. A man who is hustling must show the energy and must show you how his future looks like. You know, I have got some friends who never applied for any jobs. We went to school long time ago, but they just said that I'm not gonna work for anyone. I'm going to hustle, I'm going to struggle and start from scratch and I'll get myself there. It took them time. I know women, girlfriends who left them. I know girlfriends who left them because they didn't have money that time. But these guys were working on their projects. It took them time. They worked on their websites. They worked on their, on, the, on, on their social media platforms. And when the doors opened, those guys today are living great life with the women they have today who saw something in them, women who had vision, who knew that there was something here. So what I want you to do as a woman is to look at that guy. He, has, he doesn't have anything now because people have been asking, is it okay to date a man who doesn't have a job? Is it okay to date a man who doesn't have a house? There is a secret of dating a man who doesn't have a job doesn't have money, doesn't have a house that is called his own. The secret is, how is he hustling through his way? Does he show you a future 
like he can become something or is it this guy who wakes up in the morning and tells you oh i'm tired of this country you know this country you just need to be a politician for you to get there you need to know somebody for you to be there you know you can't get jobs there's no job anywhere i don't know why life is this is it only me you know i've been suffering i've been struggling and some, nothing is coming forth that is a very dangerous man is a man who can never change and can never take you to anywhere but when you see a man who doesn't complain but struggles through thick and thin but he doesn't have money never run away from that man never leave them because they don't have money leave them because they don't know how to care and respect you the moment you understand how good a man is in doing his things he respects you he respects people he knows how to be disciplined along the way of finding or trying to get things work out and he's trying you see he's struggling i'm telling you these my friends that i'm talking about these guys uh we personally myself we started with them i went into motivational speaking i went into this life coaching they went into article writing examination writing and helping people to write their own articles and today we are in the same path some of them are even more much more better than me without employment i chose employment and chose to also pursue my passion so i'm doing my passion with employment on the side but they chose i know them I, but as i said i don't always mention names of people here unless they permit me to do some of sometimes we have a chat and we talk and they remind me that do you remember so and so yeah you know that day that um i could not pay rent and she had money i tried to ask her if she could support me and that was the day we broke up but yeah yeah i remember do you know where she is today and i'm like no i don't know you couldn't believe you know she's shy to come to me but i'm ready i want to help her but unfortunately she's very shy she doesn't want to come near me guys my dear sisters leave a man because a man is not disciplined leave a man because a man doesn't respect you leave a man because a man is a lazy person a lazy person who stays there only looking for sex looking for good time looking for some food looking for some good movies and eating popcorns but they don't show you any sign of struggling hustling to see the future that is coming you can leave them but if he doesn't have money and that is the only reason you're leaving them in the back of your head you're saying that you know even though he's good even though he respects me even though he's disciplined but he doesn't have money what am i going to do with him you are making a gross mistake and one day you're going to regret because such men only needs a woman who has a vision the moment you put vision in your head you win the game and you can never ever know how good it is to appreciate this kind of man they have done miracles i will be talking about a woman who has got a hustle next monday same time today we are talking about a man so number 2 some of the things that should show you that a man who is hustling has a good future is the group of the people this man associates himself with look at his circle of friends look at his inner circle and see who they are you know you've got this man some women unfortunately have left men who would have had a good future and took their friend just because their friends were having money or were having great lives instead of seeing that the circle within my boyfriend's uh, environment is a circle that has got a future and my vision is to help him to use his circle to scale up there are men who had nothing but because of their circle they came from nothing to something i've always said relationship and dating is not about sex and money relationship and dating is not about exchanging sex and money i'm so thank you for the gift relationship and dating is the process of the two people bringing each other together when you are dating someone when you are in relationship with somebody you are not yet married it is time for you to bring each other up 
it is time for you to grow together. It is not time to exchange money and sex. It is not time to look at the bank of each other. It is time to look at each other and ask yourself, how can I grow with him? And how can I grow him to become a better person? I have said this and a hundred times. Date someone that you can bless and grow without regretting even after they leave you. Listen to me, guys. I will repeat this. When you are dating, before you get married, date someone that you can give one million Kenya shillings, all right? And then, at the end, you break up, but you cannot regret that you gave them that money. That is what I'm trying to say. If you have a man that you can fund, a man you can help to start up a business, a man you can help to find a job, but you are doing it because you are doing it as a, as, as a source of kindness. You are doing it because you know I want him to grow. And you are doing it t- telling yourself that even if he leaves me tomorrow, I will be happy in my heart that I helped him because I love this guy and I love to see him prospering in life. The problem that we've had in this generation is that we want to help people and then jail them, put them in prison because of that help to make sure that they get married to us. And that's where marriages break. That's where people marry pain and not men. That's why people marry pain and not women because they were married due to the help that was given. They were imprisoned. There was a chain because you started the business for them, you chained them. So guys, somebody will be asking me that coach, how dare me give a man a million Kenya shillings and just leave him to go? This is what happens. Every Monday, like today, 9 p.m. Bahrain time tonight, we are learning. We are in a group coaching session. There are 14 students who uh, you know, registered for that group coaching. They are learning about how to give money to your loved ones without feeling pain and without losing their friendship and without losing your relationship. So somebody is gonna ask me that coach, but even if I love a man and I start a business for him and then he goes ahead and marries someone, how can I still feel okay? If you find the reality and the proper way of doing that, you will never regret it. And how is that done? It can only be done when you know the channels, the process, and the way to help your man while you're dating. People mess because when you are dating, you are thinking that now I have to trust this person 100% because he's my boyfriend. I have to trust them 100% because she's my girlfriend. I have to give her money or give him money to go and buy a motorbike or buy a car in his name or in our name just because they are my boyfriend or my girlfriend. That is where the mistake starts. Handle your man while you're dating or your woman while you're dating as a friend. How do you help a friend to grow his business or her business? You help them by giving them money under a contract or under uh, a supervised um, uh, legal ways. If you're going to bank, tell your boyfriend that you know what? I see something in you. I see that you're writing articles. I see that you're trying to create content. I see that you're trying to set your own business, but you don't have capital. But you know what, darling? I've got some money in the bank, and I think this money can help you. Then go back and pray and tell God, God, I don't care what he's going to do with this money. What I need is his life to change. And I pray that you use and you touch him to change his life. I'm not changing his life for him to become my husband, but I'm changing his life so that he become a better person in the future. If he feels that I'm the greatest person who changed his life, we will end up together. Go to the bank, put the money down, call your boyfriend, let them sign paper, agree with him. I'm giving you one million. How are you going to help me? How are you going to pay back this money? He is just a boyfriend. He's not your husband. He's not you. Your money is your money, whether you're married or not. Your money is your money. You have toiled, you have sweat to get that money. If you have to start up a business for somebody, if you have to share money with somebody, it has to be done in a legal way. 
I don't want to get deep into that because that has a class. So if you would wish to know how that is done, you can join my classes. They are always done on Mondays, 9 p.m. And these are paid classes. Group classes is very cheap. It's only $10. And you have four classes every Monday. That goes every month. All right. So that is number two in the category of trying to help a man who is hustling. You should never leave them, but you should be in a position to know how to become a growth ground foundation for them to grow. You need to ask yourself that how can I help my man to grow? How can I help my woman to grow? How can I advise her? There's something she's not doing right. And this is a question I want to give you, women and men. When you see a man who is dating you, and is clubbing with you every day and drinking with you until you forget yourself. <laughs> you drink until you forget yourself and he, he carries you, he throws you in the car and carries you, throws you in the bed and tomorrow you wake up, you don't even know yourself. You need to ask yourself a lot of questions. You might think that is the best way to date. You might think that is the best man that you want in your life. But trust me, you will live crying and you will live with a very, very big problem and hurting in your heart, a very big hole that no one will be able to fill or even heal. Zandile, thank you for that flowers that you are sending. May God bless you for that. So what I'm saying is don't run away from a man who's hustling. Don't run away from a woman who's hustling. Ask yourself, do they have a future? Are they so serious with what they are hustling through? How can I help them to grow? And how is their growth going to help me as well? And when you are helping these people, do not attach yourself to them that because I gave you a million, you must be my girlfriend. You must be my wife. You must be my husband. Let me tell you something that happens with God and how God blesses people to find the best man for them. God might use you. God might use you to open a way for another man that you are dating. And you could be thinking, this is the man who's going to be my husband. But then God is preparing another man who's already developed, who is a billionaire somewhere for you. But he is using this time to help you raise another man who's somewhere. But most of us raise that man and then you want to hold on to them because you raised him, because you funded their, their, their business, because you funded their startup. So you are holding on to them for them to marry you. But God never planned you to marry that man. God brought you into his life just to help him grow, to help him start from where he was and then rise to a certain level. Then he will leave and get another woman. And your man who's a billionaire somewhere is going to get you. That is how life sometimes happens. But you see, it doesn't happen in this generation because the moment I start loving a woman, I start giving myself. It is sex, it is money, it is... I love you, I do this, it is covenant, it is agreement, it is this and that. I don't want to see this guy with another woman. I don't want to see this guy with another man. I don't want them to walk. I don't want them to be with their friends. I now want to become them and take over their lives. Sometimes we miss opportunities, not because of the people we are dating, but because of the people we are trying to hold on to. Because of ourselves, we miss better opportunities. We miss better things that we could have had in our lives. So know where you are. Know what you want. Guys, I don't know why you're not liking this video. Are you not enjoying? <laughs> Come on, guys. Right now, we should be at something like 10,000 likes, guys. Can we just like the video? Can we just like it and make it something bigger? Those likes, guys. Push on the tops and... Uh, I want to see those flowers also flying. And so thank you so much for the gifts that you're giving. Um, I'll be taking questions. And please, I want to say it again. I'm not here to waste anyone's time. And I'm not here for jokes. And I'm not here to waste my time as well. So when you have a question, please bring a question here that makes sense. Do not just think that this is a platform where you just throw questions. You know, somebody comes and tells me yesterday, somebody was asking me, the same person was asking me that, you know, I was dating a guy, I broke up with him, and now I'm dating his brother. Is it okay? I didn't answer him. Today, the same person is saying, is it okay to date, I don't know, 
a, a brother of your cousin or something like that. It means there's no sense in it. You know, sometimes we need to use our minds than our eyes. And therefore, this is a platform where uh, there are so many platforms here on TikTok where you can joke, you can do comedy. They are all over the place. But some of these platforms are serious. You know, for me, I do, I take my time, I do my research, I put my notes down, and I come here to at least give my opinion. Not everything that I say is perfect. Some of the things that I say might not be perfect because I'm also a human being, right? And every research is done. Today we will say this, tomorrow research will prove it wrong, and things will change day by day. So we learn every day. But at least try to be serious. Try to bring uh, issue here which can help other people as well. Don't just take time to waste time here, putting comments that doesn't make sense, asking to be a guest, and then when you're given chance to speak, you speak something that doesn't make sense. I would love to hear somebody who can't speak English but can speak Swahili because I understand Swahili, but is speaking something that is a very much important. I would listen to that person I'll translate to everybody who doesn't understand Swahili, then I'll give the answer, right? Is that okay, guys? So let's keep on liking the video. And if you have a question, you can tap on those, um, what we call it, those guests, request to be a guest, and uh, I will allow you to come to ask your question. Uh, only important questions. Uh, uh, Muso is asking that how do do I know someone is real or serious with me? Uh, uh, thank you, Irene. I'm speaking to your soul. Thank you. Uh, Muso, uh, kindly, I would love to listen to your voice. So can you request as a guest and I can ask you some one or two questions because you see how to know someone is real or serious with you differs from every person. There's no marking scheme for that. There's no general answer for that. It depends with what you want. How to know somebody is serious with you is for, first of all, you have to learn yourself. Once you learn the kind of a person you are, once you know what you are looking for, once you know the kind of a person you want, you will know who is serious and who is not. But there are some general things, all right? There are some general things that might say. But the reason why I don't always talk about general things is People nowadays watch YouTube. People watch videos like this. And then once they have had the answers, they come and pretend. All right? That, oh, yesterday I had the coach saying that if you want to know a man is serious, you must have a man who calls you every day. You must have a man who, you know, asks you about your future. You must have a man who, you know, tells you this. Then they're writing these things down. Then tomorrow when they seduce you, they will be looking at the marking scheme and doing that. But... At the back of their head, they are not serious. So what am I saying? You need to learn yourself first and so. Once you have understood who you are, it will be very easy for you to know somebody who is serious with you. It will be easy for you to identify somebody who is just pretending, but they don't mean what they are doing. Because we are so much pretenders in these days. All right? Uh, Lamech says that uh, he remembers I told him that true love is there, but finding it, it's not easy. Exactly. Yeah, true love is all over the place, but it won't be easy for you to get it. You